Okay, so now we should be getting to the fun part. If showings have already been set up, you're already looking at houses. It's not going to take long at all to find a house to put an offer in on. So th th that's what this is about, is what to do before you submit the offer. Because most people think you find the right house, that's the whole process, now you just do negotiate and then you're done. Not really true. This is where detail matters. Pay attention. I like to use kind of a poker analogy of what does the whole story tell you. Okay, what I mean by that, get all the information you can get. First of all, you print out that property information. Next, look at the tax records. Then look at the history of the property. Was it under contract before? Fell through? Why? That, to me, is a big indicator. If a property has gone under contract and back on the market, a lot of times it could be the condition of the property. Uh, it could be financing issues, or it could be a combination of both. It couldn't get financed because of the condition. So, huge. Okay, then the next step is we learn the market activity. I go to the office. I print out all the houses, what's sold, what's under contract, what is active, and what failed to sell. That, again, we create the story with it. We say, okay, if it hasn't sold, it was too, too pricey. If it's under contract, it was listed at the right price. If it sold, that's what a buyer and seller will agree to. That creates a formula to understand the market value of a house. Bottom line here, so many people say, okay, Drew, what do I offer before they even see that information? You can't determine that until you get the pricing information. I will go into more, more on that on the next section, uh, but just remember, there are no formulas for negotiating as much as understanding the information, evaluating what it's telling you, and then creating a game plan. Hope this helps, or at least whet your appetite for the next one. Thanks. Bye.